All right, in this uh, lesson, we're going to learn how to do SSR with Firebase and Swelt Kit. SSR stands for server-side rendering. So what that means is that the rendering of the HTML is actually done on the server. So if I were to right-click and view the source of this page, what that means is that you'll see the little engine that could and Charles S. Uh, Wings, the person that wrote this, according to Wikipedia. If I go here to my books collection in my Firestore, uh, look at that document, you can see that document's right here. Now one thing to note is in my rules you can see that I'm allowing read for everything but write is set to false. So um, notice that right there. So you'll need to match these rules up here. So that's what we're going to be building or looking at how to build. So if we look at how it works, I've got this really handy chart right here. Let me see if I can put it up. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to run the context script and we'll go over that in a second. That'll run a load function, which is just a standard JavaScript function. It can take in some parameters, but it doesn't have to. Um, but you can get like the page and routing information in the load function and other things as well. Uh, then we're going to initialize Firebase. We're going to try to get the documents. If we can get the documents, we're going to return the documents or the books to the regular script tag and the page will run. Now, if we can't do that, we're going to return a 500 error and we're going to show the error page. So that's what, that's how it's going to work. So let's look at the code for that. And I'm going to switch to the code view right now. And let's look at that. So if we look at our index.h, uh, index.swelp page, and I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Um, we have this context equals module. So it's going to run this script tag first. And this script will run on the server and on the client. That's super, super important. And we're running this async function right here. So if we go into that async function, it's in this DB, which is in source DB. And you can see it's calling this function called get Firebase. And it's using, um, it's using, I forget what it's called, but basically we're which is using uh, destructuring, that's what it's called, to get the DB object. So we go into this Firebase uh, file right here, which is in source Firebase. You can see we're initializing Firebase. So if there's no apps, we're going to initialize it. And then we're going to return the, a get Firestore. So that'll give us the Firestore database. So then if we go back here, we're going to get the collection. We're going to get all the documents in the collection. Then once we have all the documents, we're going to map over the data for the documents, get the data. This is just like uh, Firebase 8. And then we're going to get the title and the author attribute. And if you remember from our Firebase collection, those are the two attributes we have. So we're just adding the ID in. And this book is what we're returning. And if we go into models, you can see it's just a, a standard TypeScript interface. So nothing special there. So once we get that, if that succeeds, we're going to try that. And if it succeeds, we're going to pass it into the props variable and books. And then that'll get sent right here to uh, the books. And then we'll render each book as an LI. And we know it's going to be a title and it's going to have an author. If it doesn't work, we'll send an error message. Uh, we'll throw this error message. So we're trying catching our errors right here. So if I were to say something like, um, so I'll show you an example of it not working because you've seen it working. So let's say I go back here and we're going to set true to false. So this will not allow read. And then if I go here, I should get an error, error fetching Fire, the Firestore database. Now you can customize this. I'm not going to go over that in this video. You can also get the uh, the exact message if you want to, and you can just pass that in. So if I go back to here, I could say e.message, and we'll see. This should work. So, and then we'll go back here, and you can see missing or insufficient permissions. So that's the actual error. So to fix that, we can just set this to true. Now you can actually get this working according to one of my uh, great subscribers. You can get this working with authentication. Um, it is a little bit of work, but I'm going to research that. And uh, he, had, he had a really helpful comment. So I want to thank that person for doing that. I'm going to research that and figure out how to do that with uh, Firebase 9. I'll have links to all this code. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. 
And uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next uh, video and creating this uh, video series on how to do Swelt Kit with Firebase 9. Hope you all have a great day and I will catch you soon.